Hello, and welcome to day 97 of Dungeon 23. What we have here is another small room, and it has two things going for it. The first one is that there is a door that is not locked, but stuck. This door is old and warped, causing it to be stuck shut, and it's just a DC4 strength, or, you know, strength, athletics, if you want, to basically force the door open. And that's basically all that is, just a way of like blocking off some passage for the time being. The second thing it has going for it, other than this door down here, which is not locked or anything yet, this coffin here, which is magical. When the coffin is closed, I may have worded this. Yep. Audible. Yeah, here we are. Missed a word. So, while the coffin is closed, audible banging just magically originates from inside the coffin. So, when it's closed, you hear, like, banging, like someone's on the inside trying to get out. When you open it, nothing's inside. Except for a piece of wood that's carved to resemble a cut of meat. Because it's a wooden stake. Because, you know, like, wooden stake, wooden stake. It's like a coffin, vampire, whatever. Anyway, so it, that's a little gag. And then also, 1d4 plus 1. Uh, silvered arrows, which may or may not come up, maybe. They're still valuable for trade, though, whenever you run into, like, a little goblin trader or whoever. I like using goblins as NPCs in dungeons, because they're, like, little goofy guys, you know, little goblins. Now, attempting to open it is going to be difficult, because attempting to open the coffin triggers a DC 15 wisdom save, or the target creature is frightened by the coffin for one minute. And of course it can make the save again after the end of its turn. So the way the frightened condition works is when a creature is frightened of something, it cannot willingly move closer to it. So for example, if a creature had opened this guy here and then walked back here, it can't re-enter this room because it can't do so without getting closer to it. Another thing is that it has disadvantage to attack the thing that it is frightened of. It doesn't necessarily have to move further away from it, that's what the fear spell does, but it cannot move closer and it has disadvantage to attack. And that's basically all the coffin does. I had an idea of like maybe you get into it and then you exit out a different coffin somewhere else in the dungeon, but I think I might save that for deeper in the dungeon. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I just have these coffin tokens drawn, so I want to use them. So this is what I used it for. And with that, oh also I did set the DC of, or rather the AC and HP of this as 14 and 24 for the health. So it's not hard to hit, well it's not easy to hit, but it's not as hard to hit as like normal wood would be because it's typically like 15. And it's 24 HP which isn't, it's like a few swings, like 3 or 4 swings, you know, depending on who's swinging at it. They just bust it down if they want to. It just it takes a bit longer and it's louder. It's more noticeable. Anyway, with all that out of the way, this has been day 97. Thanks for watching or listening, whatever you do. And, of course, like, comment, subscribe, all that crap. And I apologize for the poor quality. It's not going to get any better.